Hi, and welcome to this talk of mine um, on the basis of um, me being me being schizophrenic and how I have managed to, you might say, rise up from schizophrenia and what are my concerns within this and how I uh, view my living on basis of this. Uh, experience of this standing. So basically, to me, schizophrenia, today I understand my schizophrenia as uh, a very complicated illness of mind that is far from created by any trauma. Um, it is created before birth. It is something that is that that is uh, you might say connected to the reincarnation process. You might say, and um, yeah, it's just a complicated illness of mind and beingness programming. Uh, the connections between mind, body, and being is so is made into a, like an error. You might say a fault, because basically you would have. Uh, very static, very metaphysically, uh, to the three personalities that would be at once trying to live themselves out. Uh, you might say very energetically, very uh, compete, competitive, very violent. You would have two or three personalities uh, at once trying to live themselves out, trying to be uh, genuinely the I person. So this uh, duplicating of minds, duplicating or, 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 or splitting and duplicating of minds and personalities is a key element within schizophrenia to understand schizophrenia. It is the duplicating of minds, duplicating of personalities, personality systems, personality platforms and beingness programming and such a, such a dimension. Um, splitting of mind is like the cancer of mind it's like schizophrenia is like the cancer of mind it is splitting self into more newer duplicate units and uh, this then these different minds different personalities different personality platforms, different personality natures and structures and minds would try to balance each other out, would try to fight each other out. This is creates the experience for the being, for me, uh, experiences a, a reality that is very lost, a very lost reality, a reality that is just, what shall I say, Glimpses of reality, glimpses of physical reality. Their, their physical reality is so lost and so fragmented and broken, and the, it is all just metaphysical, just thoughts and, and paranoia and, and all these fear systems and emotional systems and energetic polarized systems that um, make life really a hell for the schizophrenic. Um, and as I say, it is, it is multiple personalities that fight and uh, try to balance each other out to be the I person, to be in command of the body, you might say. So, basically, uh, schizophrenia is a very serious illness of mind that is uh, has to do with the creation of me uh, under being being uh, mutated, you might say, uh, uh, in my mother's belly uh, from the reincarnation process and programming of me as a fetus. And from there on is my autism of schizophrenia then created. My autism of schizophrenia then develops uh, as I grow up. And as I live out these programs of mind. 
So basically what I've been doing the last six years is to work on myself, to take out, uh, to look at memories that are energetically, emotionally burdening me. I would look at the memory from, for instance, when I was 20 years old. Perhaps I would have a memory of some, something occurring at the, when I'm 20 years old. I would look at this memory, I would write it out and open up the memory. The moment, I would open up the moment within the memory. And I would, you know, get a clear overview of what are the energetic personalities what is at play here? What are we looking at here? To really get a good uh, overview, organized structure of what was that memory and what is that moment consisting of. And then I would use self-forgiveness. Extensive amounts of self-forgiveness, forgiving the layers within my mind, layers within my memory to sort of take away that um, to sort of take away that um, the power that the energies hold over me to embrace those moments and forgive those moments and become one with that with that happening without memories and unite with that as myself and to not have it like a energetic tripping wire a, a, a trap for myself in my everyday living so that I would remove this, I would remove this energetic memory component within my being, within my mind, within my body, and I would release it with self-forgiveness and let go of it and, be, be, and stand as, as responsibility within it. So you might say self-forgiveness is the big key here to, to forgive all the memories, all the energies within it, and to release and to realize. Uh, how to change from such a pattern to realize how to change from such a pattern of trapping oneself with emotions and burden so um, yeah um, that's that is how I've been working with myself uh, structuring myself and learning to know myself, learning to know who I am as a being and you know I still have schizophrenia in my blueprint you might say DNA of me in my blueprint recipe of me I still have schizophrenia but I don't live it out that much anymore I don't live it live out my schizophrenia that much anymore because I have walked a lengthy process of forgiving myself, of understanding my mind and myself within it. So, we at Destiny have several different types of programs that one can work with to, um, to overcome one's own emotions, one's own traps of mind. Um, we have several programs to walk to learn self-forgiveness, to learn to war work and walk with self uh, into self-healing, responsibility, uh, self-honesty, self-awareness, understanding. So uh, basically schizophrenia is something of autism actually. Schizophrenia is a form of autism actually and It is something that I, I have been able to marginalize and you know it's a, it's a complicated it's a complicated serious illness but I am one living example that, I, that, I, that it's up that it's uh, that it's uh, possible to overcome it to marginalize it into into very little um, or shall I say effect to marginalize it and to sort of shrink my schizophrenia into practically uh, non bother, nothing of a bother. So, yeah, that is some of my story and some of my sharing on schizophrenia today. Um, I 
if you have questions feel free to ask me and um, you know check out destiny check out our programs investigate all things and keep what's good investigate all things and keep what is good i'll leave you at that thank you and enjoy